every time I walk into the clinic, it reminds me of the work that we do and how important it is and why we're here because I can actually see the people that we serve. And one of the most compelling things is to see people come through the doors that wouldn't be able to get health care without something like community health. A lot of times they feel ill, but they don't go anywhere because they don't know anywhere to go. And community health is here to fill that gap for people that just don't have any place to go. They're extremely vulnerable, and we provide a health care and a, a better quality of life for them moving forward. I believe that all patients who do come here are very grateful for the services that we provide for them. And I think that just gives me a good sense of, um, I guess, pride, especially coming from a neighborhood where I grew up where everything was a challenge. Everything from making sure that your kids get to school safely to making sure that you have enough food to put on the table. And had they not had a clinic like Community Health to be at, where would they be as far as their health care goes? Recomiendo la clínica porque sí, sí, me han, a mí me ha, por lo menos a mí me han ayudado en, en muchas cosas que me han pasado de enfermedades. Porque no tenemos un sueldo suficiente para cubrir un costo o alguna operación. Porque a mí me operaron, a mí me, la clínica me refirió al Cuconi y yo no tuve que pagar nada porque yo sé que una operación, aunque el Cuconi es de la comunidad, pero sale caro también. When a patient comes to community health and they're uninsured, it's one of the only places in the healthcare ecosystem where our business model is built to support a model of care for that patient. We believe that healthcare is a human right, and regardless of who you are, regardless of where you've come from, if you are here, you deserve medical care, and you deserve high quality medical care. I'm from the south side of Chicago, and our first clinic was in Inglewood that I worked at, and I lived just east of Inglewood in Woodlawn. So I really, really understood how hard it was for people in the community to get access to care. It's the one thing about being a free clinic that's quite an advantage, being volunteer-based. We can recruit volunteers from all sorts of different places. Also, it can be really nimble and creative in finding solutions. If a patient's need a service, we can kind of figure it out. As the neighborhood has changed, um, our patients are living further away, uh, which is why that's what prompted us to open the, the two microsites that we have in the Belmont Creek and in the Little Village neighborhoods because that's where a large portion of our patients are living and we wanted to be where they are. When I went to do the interview and I did a tour and I saw full lab services, Doctors from University of Chicago, Rush residents, a dental clinic. It really dispelled the whole like stigma of a free clinic being the worst experience you'll ever have. We have a different educational programs like uh, diabetes education, cooking classes. We have yoga classes. We have Zumba classes. And the program that I'm leading is um, Bienestar para Mujeres, Women's Wellness talking about menopause, about their feelings, about their kids. They just open up they, and what they told me is they feel like they have a friend who can trust. So when I take folks on a tour of community health, I always end the tour in our lunchroom where we have hanging all of the name tags of our volunteers because it's the one place you can really hold that true impact of having over a thousand people helping to make your mission possible. Many people who volunteer here say, being here reminds me why I became a doctor, a nurse, or a PA, a nurse practitioner. Reminds me why I did it in the first place. Because it's tough out there. <laughs> to come here, it's with meaningful work, uh, working directly with people. It's physically challenged. Uh, I keep learning the subjunctive of uh, rare Spanish verbs uh, and parts of the body. And uh, so it's intellectually challenged and it's very social. So it just uh, fills a need in my life and I've gotten far more out of coming here than I could ever think of possibly having given to the clinic. La primera vez me fue muy bien. 
tenía alguien que hablaba mi idioma. El doctor hablaba mi idioma en ese entonces. He conocido tres doctores y los tres han hablado mi idioma y me sentía muy cómoda viniendo a mis citas. In my case, I really felt strongly about can we please get an in-person Spanish interpreter because I can understand the basics, but if I'm going to really talk to you about your mental health, if I'm going to really talk to you in detail about your diabetes, it is essential that there is somebody who is absolutely fluent and can help support that. Getting to work with a group of people who are here because they love this work and they want to do it, and in fact they're taking time out of their busy days to do the work for free for our patients makes it just an incredible place to be. There's you know, just a really um, different energy here. Being the CEO of Community Health, especially the last three years, I feel confident is going to be one of the greatest honors of my life. This, this organization is really special. From the volunteers to our steadfast staff who have been through so much in the last three years. Community Health is providing healthcare the way that people deserve to receive healthcare.